Wow, what kind of spirit is this? I'm so freaking scared right now. Like, I am doing something totally different, something I've never done on this channel before, and I really think you guys are gonna appreciate it. First things first, I wanna introduce my friend Lee over here. Hi, how are you? Lee is a psychic medium, and she can literally see the paranormal world, things that we cannot see. Sometimes we experience things, but her experiences are on a whole different level. Can you just tell us? Quickly, what kind of things you experience? What do you do? What do you see? Okay, um, well, my name is Lee Triana, and I'm Asian and Native American, and I embrace both sides of my family, do my own type of spirituality. Um, I can sometimes hear spirits. I can see them. Sometimes they're just as much as standing there, and I can talk to them. Those are wonderful things. Did you hear that? Yeah, I felt like I saw something out there. Yeah. Guys, quickly, grab your zombie protection gear because today's video is sponsored by Life After in collaboration with Evangelion. Life After is an open world doomsday survival game and you guys know how much I love survival games and zombies and doomsday, it's cool. My life is basically a big doomsday. In this doomsday world of virus infections and zombies, players have to, from scratch, scavenge resources, craft tools and weapons, build houses, and fight alongside other survivors and defend off the zombies that are basically trying to kill every human on this planet. It's really important to remember that you gotta rebuild human civilization. The zombies just messed everything up. So Life After has this really cool collab happening with Evangelion. A lot of people may know what it is because it's a really popular anime, but Neon Genesis Evangelion is an unprecedented sci-fi masterpiece. The anime depicts teenage boys and girls basically piloting these giant bio-machine mecha and battle beings of unknown origins called angels. The fact that they've done a crossover with Life After is absolutely unreal. And the fact that you can fight infected zombies alongside Evangelion Evangelion Unit 1 is super cool. Like you have a game that has zombies and you have a game that has bio machines that has collabed together to basically destroy these zombies and save mankind. There's not too many mobile games out there where you can just roam the world without any limits. Can't forget you can build a home. You can construct stuff. You can build a home to reshape this world in your own way. I know a lot of people are afraid of zombies but you can also mutate yourself into a half zombie which gives you a bit of more powers. This is the first open world doomsday mobile game to have a continuous big map. It's open world and it's cool. There's also a wide selection of exploration quests, completing site visitation, treasure box excavation, and other quests that obtain rich rewards. The major update of Sea of Zombie launched in August was an innovative combination of zombie and sea, and it was definitely a major breakthrough in the imagination of Doomsday Zombie games. Don't forget to download Life After. This is such a cool app, and it's got such a cool collab going on with Evangelion. You can download it on iOS and the Google Play Store and on PC. The links are down below, pinned to the top of the comments section. Let me know what your gamer tag is in the comments below. I would love to play with some of you guys. Now, without further ado, let's get right into this video. So, <laughs> oh, that was creepy. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I felt like it was coming over my shoulder, whatever it was. Yeah, like it was like standing in the corner. Did you feel it? Did you feel that short uh -huh. like standing in the corner? That's right. That's very interesting. So that's uh, what I do. I've been doing this for years and years. My great grandmother, grandmother, myself. Uh, we've we've done this. I was raised in the spiritual world. And it's just part of our life. And so now I'm with Mo and we're gonna have a great time. She's basically helping me out in today's investigation. So big shout out to her. Her link is gonna be down below. The second you guys are seeing me in this house right now is the first time I've walked in. The whole premise of today's video is we're gonna try to communicate with Tom the ghost. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting that. And I got the expert for that because she's a psychic medium. Now, this house is abandoned nothing left inside of it. But I actually had Lee and Angelo comb through the house before I went in because I don't want to contaminate the house with Tom because Tom follows me everywhere. So they actually walked in through here. You guys walked in through with the camera? Yeah. Did you guys catch anything? There was a few sounds here and there, but I'd say most, she explained that the energy here was You experienced something positive. in here. It's, it's very, very positive, positive very um, maternal feeling. Okay. A, a, a shorter lady, oh. loved to cook. Oh my god. Yeah, very sweet lady. Okay. Yeah. So that, so then there's nothing evil in here right nothing. now. Until we communicate with Tom. Hopefully he doesn't. The energy's already changing. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and Cue in the clip of them investigating without me, and then we're gonna start trying to communicate with Tom. So smash the like button, guys. This one's gonna be a juicy one. Cool, oh my right? Gosh, what a great <laughs> feeling. It's got such a great feeling. Well, there's a lady here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you know? I feel uh, a lot of female energy. Oh. I mean, I can when I walk in, I can feel um, 
like dinners and, and people eating together, the mm-hmm. residual energy of family. I feel um, somebody looked out the window a lot, uh, put, their, they put their hand here and look out the window. I'm not sure why they would be looking over there. But that's definitely something to explore some more. This house was loved. And it's got a lot of um, can't say that it was a family. It could have been a couple. It could have been, um, you know, husband and wife. Yeah. Or uh, even a grandmother. I do feel like I'm older. Is there any like? Um, are you able to picture what yeah. they would have looked like? Can you describe them? Well. She's in here. I'd rather try to find her. Mm-hmm. Let's try upstairs. This one. Tiny lady. Mm-hmm. She had her hair cut uh, short. Didn't want it to be short. She she preferred it long, but she, I can see her holding her chest. Mm-hmm. In fact, I'm, I feel my heart palpitating. Yeah. I don't know if it's a heart condition or yeah. like I, I feel like I can't catch my breath. I don't see her in here, but I feel like she was in here and moved. But other than that, I, I don't feel anything negative. So I have to I have to ask. I see you grab the uh, the door handle. Uh-huh. Why why is that? Um, I can tell someone's intention when they were coming in here. I oh, was really? trying to see if there was energy left on it. Oh cool. Because if someone was in this room mm-hmm. and every time they grabbed their doorknob, they were trying to get away from the people in the house. Yeah. Or they were trying to hurry up and get in here yeah. to play video game or. Or, yeah, this was a husband and wife's house. You makes know. a lot of sense, yeah. It makes sense, yeah. They'll, they'll grab this. The yeah, most. I guess it'll show you, like, what their urgency was mm-hmm. to, for whatever reason. Right. Feel real comfortable here. Yeah, so up, until we, uh, up until we bring Tom around. <laughs> it might not feel now. so comfortable after. Let's see what happens. But, <laughs> but I'm, you know, going through the house, I, I, I feel like I'm right behind her. Yeah. You know, like, I'm, like there's, I probably have to spend quite a while getting her comfortable to to talk to me. So I'm going to be doing a quick walkthrough because I've actually never been in this place and uh, I'm hearing some noises. It it could be just noises from like the water or something. There is electricity, there is power, there is heat, which is good. Wow, this place is, I'm getting an energy in here. It is sad though. This is, this house is abandoned, but it's not actually abandoned. Um, It's just abandoned at the moment and it's going to be sold real soon. We actually know the family that owns this place. They gave us permission to film here tonight and uh, we're very grateful for them. Let's go down in the basement and see what's down there and uh, we're going to start trying to communicate with Tom. I think there's a like a bedroom here. The reason why I'm showing you guys the house right now, I'm just trying to show you everything there is just to, you know, to confirm that there's no one in here in case we hear any noises Mm -hmm. besides us three. What kind of vibes are you getting from in here, Angela? I, I feel like they were better before you walked in the house. Really? When it was just us two, it was different. Really? Like you guys actually... Absolutely. It's like, I don't know, there's more, how do I describe it? Like a higher pace now all of a sudden. Mm-hmm. But I feel, I, I feel was... sadness from the second I walked in. Really? Even, even as I told you, as we were driving down the driveway, I looked at the house and I'm like, I feel something weird. Yeah. It's like something standing in the window looking at us, so... It was funny because, um, so you, we were like jokingly outside saying like, oh, look at that person. Uh, looking outside the window, and then she literally said that somebody looks out of that out of that window, yeah. and that exactly. when I was look outside, at the, look at the fingerprints. There's fingerprints all over the. Uh, if you get to a certain angle from here, which we weren't at the time, you can see little hand. Yeah, you're right. Wow. There you go. Yeah, definitely see them. All right, Tom, if you're down here, we're coming down right now. Tom, are you with us? Have you not been down here? Is there anything here with us, Tom? I 
heard it again. A what? Yeah. That was a meal. A moan. It was like yeah. a moan. Not a laugh this time, it was a moan. And there goes the chill. Yeah, he's here. You feeling him? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Tom, it's been a long time since I've summoned you. I've noticed you've increased your activity lately. Like his activity in my house yeah. lately has been through the roof. LED light bulbs are supposed to last for like 10 years. Sure. They don't last more than a month. They burn it, like I'm not even joking, they burn out nonstop. Me and Shadia both have seen so much things happen, just like in front of our eyes, like things starting to move on their own, things flipping over off the shelf. I see shadows as I'm sitting at home, just periodically throughout the day. Like I see them all the time now, and, and it, it, it's picked up activity a lot lately. Is he behind me? Holy shit. He's right there. Can you tell us what he looks like? I see huge. Now he's behind me. <sighs> Did you touch that lamp behind you because it's moving? No. It's literally rocking right now. Yeah, yeah oh as God, as you my back is freezing. As you just said he's behind you. That that is moving he's right now. He's got his hands on my back. Hey, look, it's increasing. Angela, look at that. This, this guy is extremely powerful. My back feels like it's freezing. What are you hearing right now? Do you hear anything? His chest is huge. He wears a, like a blue-gray shirt. Tom? If that's even your real name, is that really your real name? Because Lee can figure out if that's your real name or... Right there. I heard it too. Yeah. He's back behind me. Uh, he's letting me know that you belong to him. Really? And for me to remember that. Why would he even say that? Because I have spirit guides. Yeah. That I belong to him. Oh. What have I done to belong to you besides piss you off a million times? All right. I may have sworn at his mother a lot. <laughs> I'm not sorry about that, but you've done a lot of bad and, things to and me. And his sister. And her sister. I'm sorry about that. His father too. You know. I should not swear at demon. Is, wait, is he a demon? Or is he just a really bad spirit? I'm trying to, to put that together. Never in my life did I think of bringing someone with such talents as Lee's with me on an investigation, but I think for this type of investigation, it's very important. I, I do see a lot of letters to his name, and T-H-O-M is the beginning of the oh. spelling. Oh. He just touched my back. I told you. He something, like actually something just brushed my back. Not violently, it just like brushed my back. Oh. I what? heard like a step. Yeah, I, I heard it too. Oh, I got shivers, bro. I got shivers. I don't know. I should be scared, but... Back in this corner yet again. So he touched my back. He moved that little chandelier a little bit. You got to see bits of... Have you seen his face yet? I saw a beard here, and it wasn't your beard. Does he he's look like me? Is he my he's, twin? He's bigger than <laughs> you. His head comes up higher than So the figure that I see is about seven foot tall. Yeah. That I, all, I see all the time. Yeah. I don't see him clearly. Ah, oh, big headache. Oh, I'm not even joking. Big headache. Oh, bro, migraine. Have you ever had any migraines from spiritual activity? Yes. So, you know, it's like a throbbing pain and you're like above your eyeball. Right. Tom, why don't you touch someone else? Something just turned on. Yeah, it sounded like it. Maybe, maybe it was a piece of equipment in there. This okay. house has two kitchens. Yeah. I told you the lady that was here loved, what was that? Holy shit. What? There was a huge. Did you go in here? It was. It was like this tall. Did you go in here? Did you go in here? Did you go in here? Did you go in here?
shoulders this broad, and there he is. He went in this way, but he's not behind me now. Okay, it's like he's dissipated, but he was like this tall, huge shoulders, well, about like that. Whoa. But I mean, he just, he really went up, like, wow, what kind of spirit is this? I'm so freaking scared right now, like, I shouldn't be because it's Tom. I know what he can do, and I know he's powerful, but. I mean, this is just a bathroom, but. Tom, do you have to use the bathroom? Tom, I think you're a coward. Is that bad of me to say? Yeah. Really? <laughs> is that is that why he's so attached? Because I, I've done worse. But I like doing that. Like sometimes. Maybe that's what he meant by your his. <laughs> like I. <laughs> it's like a, hey, he's mine. You can't protect him. So I first the first time I, I was introduced to Tom was through a Ouija board years ago, and uh, it was a Ouija board that I actually bought online from a girl that claims to be a witch and we uh we literally drove all the way to it was like somewhere near like cornwall ontario um uh, or the outskirts of it i'm sorry guys i'm getting really dizzy like really dizzy I right see, now i see you're starting to whoa disoriented i got so dizzy just now in the same spot the same spot it's, it's, it's always in that corner no 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 this was not in the corner when we first came in here, mm -hmm. you know, it would have been wonderful to have bread cooking in the kitchen and coming to dinner, yeah. kind of a feeling. Yeah. This is not no, what we feel it's now. Not the same feeling. Is there somebody here that would like to speak to us? So I've got the K2 meter and I've got the REM pod. Where, where do we feel that he's mostly making noises here? In this area or over there? I feel like we're in the I do too. In the middle, yeah? Right here. Right. Temperature change instantly? Tom, touch that machine that you're seeing on the ground. Give us something on the REM pod. That device that you're seeing on the ground, go ahead and touch it. Come on, Tom, make it sing for me. Let's hear you. Let's hear a strong voice. So if you guys don't know what a REM pod is, it's basically, if something touches it, different lights are going to go off. Right now, the light that's flickering, that's a temperature light. So temperature changing could be the result of just air flowing through here or an actual spirit being there. So right now, he's playing games with us. He doesn't want to show himself. Yeah, he's right? not. He's not. Are you seeing the lady at all? The old lady? She's upstairs. She's upstairs. She's upstairs. She's not playing with so, down here. Yeah, so she's probably terrified right now. She is. If Tom's in here. Makes me wonder if that was her that we heard over here. Could be. Could very well be. Tom, touch the REM pod if you're here. Don't be shy. I'm not even close to that to set that off, by the way. That's a temperature change yet again. Is it possible for the entity to still be in that same location but not reveal himself to even you? Yeah. Yeah? And that's your answer right there. That's so perfect. Ooh. What's going on? What the f is that? What the hell is that? Guys, what the hell is that? I don't know. What on earth was that? I don't know. It sounded like a death whistle. Is it the furnace oh, turning? The furnace. So the furnace just turned on. Oh man. Oh, <laughs> that sounded like, sound like a demon screaming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Fix that fan. <laughs> oh man. It's like, oh gosh, we're being invaded. I heard it. A loud thump upstairs. It was a loud thump. I'm grabbing the gear. Let's go upstairs right now. We just heard a very loud bang or a thump coming from up here. And I can assure you, we're the only ones in here, guys. You know where that sound like it came from? Where? Upstairs, not from here. It, it would have been louder from here. It, it sounded like it came from upstairs. I actually haven't been upstairs just yet. Uh, he just pulled my hair. He pulled your hair. He just pulled my hair. There's nothing here. Oh. There's a nail here, but he just pulled my hair like that. Yeah, he, doesn't, uh, he doesn't seem to like you very much. <laughs> That's because I brought her here to fight him. Yeah. All right, Tom, let's do this. Pull my hair again. I got plenty for you to pull. Come on. I got none for you to pull, Tom. <laughs> Almost pretty much gone. What was that? You heard that loud dump, oh, like yeah. from upstairs? Yeah. 
But it didn't sound like from here. It sounded like it came from up the upper floor. All right, so I'm gonna leave the REM pod here. Let's make our way upstairs and see if we get something on the K2 and maybe if we can even see if he's up here. Tom, close the door or something, man. Come on. Yo, it's creepy up here. I'm gonna keep my light to a minimal, guys. I, I know you guys like rather have a bit of light, but I just wanna keep it down a little bit low. Oh, we got a bed in here. I cannot believe he pulled my hair like that. Yeah, like, still so, so when we were in the basement, he brushed my back. Mm -hmm. And now he's touched your hair. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. Out there. Oh my God, I feel like he's touching me up here. Like, I, f I feel shivers, goosebumps. I don't know if it's because I'm kind of nervous and scared, but it's not a good feeling. You know what? Uh, take a step forward because he's already made you yeah. Right in the face of the stairs. Yeah, I don't want to fall down the stairs. That's not going to be good. We placed some. Oh, oh, something's touching it. That should not be going off unless something is touching it. Right. Holy crap. Very cool. Make the other one go off. Why just that one? So clearly, I'm moving. Something just touched it. I walked all the way here. None of them went off. So when we were over there, our movement didn't trigger that one. Yeah. Something just triggered this one here. Mm -hmm. Touch it! As soon as you said touch it, the thing went off. Holy crap. Stop touching the balls and touch the REM pod. Stop touching the ball. Come on. Touch this device with the red light on it. Come on. Do you want us to turn off all our lights? We will. All right. We're here in the darkness, waiting for you. This is fucking scary, guys. <gasps> oh my god! What? Behind you, behind you was the biggest shadow on the wall, Lee. That wall, that that wall to your left. That I just seen the biggest. I, I kid you not. I seen a shadow in the darkness. Like actually, it flew right above your head. Oh my gosh! And Angela didn't have a light on or anything for that to be a light obstruction. That's right. That's there was right. something that actually went above your head. And we're not getting anything on the balls right now, or any of the tech. As you guys can see, I'm walking Tom, past the balls. are you a creeper? If he's a creeper, then... Are, the... are you... are you... a grim reaper? Are you a reaper? He's here. He's here. He's not revealing himself, though, he's at all. He's playing cat... there. Look. Oh! Okay. So you guys see me walk past the balls and they didn't go off. So right. it's not us, not us, not no. You. Well, these are tiles anyway. Right, you yeah. Have to be an Hard tiles. And make it go off. Hey, Tom, make this one go off over here. I'm gonna shut my lights off. What the f was that? that? Was a big, was a big dog. Right there. It sounded almost like something hit the window. What I'm trying to figure out with this video is what the hell Tom really is. Yeah. What are you, Tom? Where do you feel like you discovered Tom or he discovered you? I discovered Tom through a Ouija board that I got from this so-called witch. Right. And we used the Ouija board without even knowing how to use a Ouija board. So we never actually closed it after we used it. So after we finished using that Ouija board, I threw it away. Oh. And I never said goodbye to it. Did you burn it? Like you're supposed to? No, we just threw it away. Do you have any pieces of it? Not the planchet? Or I have a piece of Tom's house. A brick. That could, oh my God, I forgot about that brick. I literally have one of his bricks from his house at my house. There it is. And that could it's be- It's tethering to your house. That's the tethered link. Holy shit. He's telling you. Whoa. Tom, are you attached to that brick? Let us know on these balls. Touch one of the balls. Wow. Holy shit. So you don't want to touch a ball, but you want to make a noise, right? I'm going to take this thing into the other room. Well, I just saw somebody walk across in really? the rat. Yes, that's what I was pointing. Gray, completely gray, darker here. Oh, touch. That's a touch, green on Angelo's REM pod. He's here in this room. 
Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm getting the shivers standing right here. Yeah. It's really cold in this area. Oh, wow. Do you want us to turn off the lights, Tom? Yeah. So yes. And then, oh, oh. Ooh, nice. That's confirmation that he wanted us to turn off the lights. Yeah. That's touch, that's physical touch right there. Okay, Tom. Holy crap. It's like all of the above, it's like motion, temperature change. Touch my RAM pod in the other room. <gasps> he's touching it, he's touching it. The second I said that, it turned green. He sure hit your data on And your request. How fast was that? That's so fast. fast. Touch my REM pod again. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. Tom, you sexy son of a bitch. Wow. That is pretty badass. Oh. Well, I don't think he liked that, calling him a son of a bitch like that. He's here. Look at the activity on this. That's incredible. Wow. Oh my god. Oh, that one too. Both of them. Yes. I what? I thought we had two. What the hell? How, how is this possible? They're Both REM pods are going crazy right now. Go to three again. Come on. Wow. He is badass. He is right. badass. Look at that, all of them at once. Now go back oh. to mine. Go back to mine over there. Oh, oh my god. Are you kidding me? Light up the balls, Tom. Light up the balls right now. Turn on the balls. It was like he tried to go through me. Like he's over here now, right? Make the balls go off. He's here touching this one too. So you guys are all witness. Even you guys are a witness to the REM pods not doing shit all night downstairs. Most of the time up here. Is this a, like a battle? Is this like a, like a rap battle or something? I don't know what's happening. Make the K2 go off now. You know, when we sat down in here, I said I was going to call some of my spirit guides, and I started doing it, and then all of this started happening. Yeah. I wonder if Tom and one of my spirit guides are fighting. Do you think they're interacting? It's a fighting or Can you get your spirit guides to tell us what he looks like exactly and what he is exactly? How can we do that? What do we have to do for that? Do we have to sit and meditate? Do we have to... Look at that thing. That's, that's physical. That's all physical. Yeah, we have to sit and meditate. Let's just, that's why I always sit down. All right, then let's sit Tom, down for a little minute. Tom, listen to me. Listen to me. Would you like for me to call one of my spirit guides to you so that you could talk to them? Did you, did you notice how it started to stop as she was saying that? Tom, you don't want me to call them? Because if you mean harm, they will know. And they will deal with you. Do you understand? Keep in mind, demons or whatever they are, they can shapeshift, right? He can stretch out his arms for all we know, his wings for all we know. Is that a yes, Tom? I think that we might be dealing with a... Uh... Did you hear that? Yep, Tom? yep. It's Tom, it's like... Tom, stop that! <laughs> Tom, stop. Stop it! Tell him, Mom, make him stop. Tom, you're a piece of shit. Stop doing that. Say he's so defiant. He reacts to you directly. Tom! No more cookies for you. How about I break my tether from you? How about that? Oh. If you don't stop right now, I'm going to break my tether. I'm going to go destroy that brick. And just give... I've never like seen this before ever. Two REM pods going off at once is yeah, that's like really hard to get. Never Probably before. It's hard enough getting one to go off. Yeah, exactly. Look at it. The other one's going green too. Um, we're not alone besides Tom. No, there's a, definitely something else. Yeah. Um. Yeah, because it's it's touching me here. I wish you could see what I see because he's right there watching this. Who is Tom or his friend? His friend. Yo, what the hell, man? You brought reinforcements? Yeah, he did. Only a coward would do that. 
We're not even afraid of you anymore. So Lee's saying Tom is a lower level type of demon. Yeah. Um, not very smart, but can be dangerous, right? Yes. We got the necrophonic scanning right now. This is like really, really cool. Yeah. Is Tom here? Have a look. He is? Was that a yes or he is? Mine just flipped to green. Just once? There it is. I told you to look. Have a look, right? And I looked and. Alright, we're looking. Show yourself. Minnie, is there a spirit here or. Oh. What? Did you hear a female? That's Minnie. Minnie? Minnie's her spirit guide, I think. Oh, okay. Minnie? What do you see? Close. It's a thing. I know it's a thing. That, that was loud and clear. It said it's a thing. What does it want? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Thank you for that, Minnie. We appreciate your help. Guy. It said guy. Guy? Guy. Guide. guide. Yeah, it said, literally said guide. Minnie? Do you, you see a thing? Is it a man? Or is it like your elemental? Elemental? Elemental. It said elemental. As you, as you were just seeing that. Minnie, can you tell us what this demon's name is? She said it. Oh, <gasps> Tom! No, that was a female that just said Tom. It was like a weird, like, yep. sc in a screech kind of. Yeah, it was. Oh my God, the shivers running down my spine Minnie, right now. Minnie, are you okay? <clears throat> That's insane. Oh. Behind you, Angela. In the kitchen. Minnie, what can we do with him? Do we need to be afraid of Tom? Ask, ask her where he is right now. Minnie, where is, where is he right now? You hear that, Tom? Yep. That was him saying his name. Where is Tom right now? Where is Tom? Wait, I heard something room. I heard upstairs. Did, she, did it say bedroom? It was a female's voice. No, Minnie, sure. can you get Bear and Wolf and make him come down here? He'll go. I know he'll go. Come on, bring him down here. He's playing games. And she said, I know he is. Holy, wow, that was almost a sentence. I heard, I heard breathe, and then I couldn't make out the rest. Behind go. you. Behind you, back, back. back. Uh, Is he behind me right now? Yes. Oh. <laughs> so he's behind me. Yeah, and he is. She told you. This is freaking crazy. Can I have a hug? You heard that. Can I have a hug? That was, that was Minnie. Minnie, go hug him. Minnie, you want to give me a hug? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. She's quite a flirt. <laughs> Minnie is her spirit guide, by the way. Like, <sighs> we're getting so she, much. I said she's quite a flirt, and then she said I am. I think Tom is scared right now. From all this action that's going on. I think Tom's intimidated? The size of bear and wolf is way beyond a normal wolf and bear. Because you summon bear and wolf, right? Yes. And if that's the case, he's afraid of them right now. So who are, he should be, because they're really bear and wolf. Who are bear and wolf exactly? They're spirit guides. Okay. But, um, they're like, one of them is an elemental and the other one is an animal spirit. And they work together with many. It's a team that we put together about 70 years ago. Wow. They're precious. 
And I do have other teammates, friends of mine that are Native American that have other ones and we can just text each other and they'll send them and they'll be here in just a few seconds. I hope you guys enjoyed this little investigation. It was really special bringing Lee. She's a psychic medium and she's a really, really skilled one. We would never have known that Tom is an elemental slash a lower level demon if it wasn't for her. So thank you, Lee. I'm going to leave her Instagram down below. You guys can go and check her out. Also, I just posted a really, really, really big update about my top secret project on my vlog channel. I'm gonna link it down in the description below. You guys can go and check it out. And don't forget guys, download Life After the Game. I'm gonna leave that link down below as well. Love you guys, I'll see you on the next one.